What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. Just thought I'd do a quick video today. Lots happening in the transfer window. One day to go. Arsenal making moves, transfers in and out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this video. Lots more content coming up. Let's get into it. What have Arsenal been doing? Cole Jenkinson, the guy who seemed like he would never leave, has finally left. Nottingham Forest have signed him. Fair play to Jenkinson, you know, he's lived out a lifetime dream, played for his boiled club. A lot of people don't know how he's been there so long, but good luck to him. Lauren Koscielny is left, the captain. You know, he completely turned his back on the club at the end. Who knows what happened, it was very unprofessional the way he left. You know what, a lot of people are making a lot about the way he took this shirt off in this video. Let's not get too caught up on it, man. It's out of order and disrespectful, but don't lose sleep over it. We wanted this guy out the door anyway. We've saved ourselves, what, 80, 90 grand a week wages. Got a few million quid in for him. Forget about him. He's old news. Any legacy I, he had at the club has gone. Um, but that's it. Like, don't get too caught up on it. Um, something that I was surprised at today was um, Alex Iwobi. 30 million bid for Iwobi from Everton. Personally, I would have snapped their hands off for that. For me, I don't think he's good enough for Arsenal. 23 years of age, the same age as Leroy Sané. Um, Sané got double figures, goals and assists last year, and he hardly, you know, he wasn't starting consistently for City. Alex Iwobi, I don't care what anyone says, he is not good enough for Arsenal. He is not Arsenal standard. He has had two or three seasons of regular game time, and he hasn't improved enough. Yeah, he's, he might have improved a little bit, but he's not the standard. Sometimes players don't get that much better with age. 30 million quid, mate, I would have cashed in and taken that and put that towards a top quality centre-back. Alex Iwobi, three goals in 35 games last season in the Premier League. That's just not good enough, I'm sorry. Defend him all you like, I would have cashed in. If Everton come back with a higher bid, then great, but if they don't, we missed a great opportunity to cash in on him, and I just don't think he's good enough. Um, links with Coutinho, you know, he turned down um, Tottenham, which is always nice, you know, to see players turning them down. But is these links to Arsenal genuine or are they made up? Is it just paper talk from his agent? Personally, if we could get Coutinho, I'd take him. You know, for me, an upgrade on Meza Ozil in that number 10 role, possibly. It's hard to turn down plays like that, even if you don't really desperately need them. Um, it looks like Upper Meccano, who was the centre back I really wanted us to get. He's a tank, 20 years old, French international, quick and strong. Looks like Leipzig are asking for, for too much money to get him, but that Iwobi money could have gone towards that deal, which is why I don't understand that. I would have much rather promoted Reese Nelson. You've got Mikatarin as well out wide, Pepe out wide, Abamian can go there if needs be. I think that would have been enough. I would have cashed in. Um, Coutinho, if we get him, I'll be over the moon with that. Whether we need him or not is another matter, but you don't turn down players of that quality if you can get them. And the Regani thing looks like it's gone quiet as well. I've seen a little bit of this guy before. I'm not fully convinced he's the answer. Um, one thing that's kind of caught us all by surprise today is David Luiz. It's split the opinion of the fan base. I would actually take him, you know, on a short-term deal. He's a bit of a shit house. He's that type of defender that when he plays for another team, you really don't like him. But when he plays for your team, he offers you something that sometimes you haven't got. We haven't got many characters in the dressing room, leaders on the pitch. I think David Luiz has matured with age. Don't get me wrong, he's got a mistake in him all day long. Last year, Chelsea came third and their team wasn't great. I think him and Rudiger had a good partnership. Apparently, he's, he's refused to train today. He wants to join us. They're talking about less than 10 million. I would 100% sign David Lewis. Short term, get him in. Hopefully we get back in the Champions League and we go back for a bigger centre half next summer, maybe up in Meccano again. So what's gonna happen in the next 24 hours? Hopefully Tierney comes in. You know, the reports are we've got a good chance of getting him. David Lewis, if that's the guy, I'll take him. Coutinho will be, you know, the cherry on top. You know, we don't really need him, but he's too good to turn down. Great player. So far, you know, this, this small budget, apparently, that we had, we're stretching it well, you know. If we get Tierney, a, a decent centre-back, and Coutinho, let's get the statue ready for Dom Raul, you know. He said when Arsenal knock, it's a different knock. Keep knocking on them doors, man. 
Hopefully we get a top quality defender or two in tomorrow. And if there's more attackers going, you know, I don't mind one or two more attackers. More videos coming up. We're going to do some transfer specials tomorrow. Um, catch us down at the Emirates. Um, we'll be doing interviews and speaking about who we've hopefully signed and hopefully some of the deadwoods has been shifted as well. Bless.